Uh, my name is uh, Sorina Cernayanu. I'm from uh, University of Craiova, Romania, and uh, for this uh, parallel session, I will be the convener. I uh, remember you because uh, there are only three papers. You uh, have to present your paper in uh, 20 minutes, each of you. And uh, we start with the first uh, paper presented by Jasekan Krančević from Institute for Tourism Zagreb, Croatia. Uh, the Sokol movement, movement in Croatia using the history of sport and tourism for territorial development. Please, Jansenka. Thank you, Sarina. It's nice to see you again because uh, Sarina and I um, in close contact uh, about one uh, European project. Uh, and uh, nice to see you again in Irnist uh, conference. Thank you. I will, uh, thank you, Sarina. Uh, uh, I will present uh, one part of uh, heritage of sport in Croatia, the Sokol Falcon uh, movement in Croatia using the history or heritage of sport and tourism for territorial development. Sokol or, uh, or uh, falcon is bird, uh, flying strong bird in our uh, country, not only in our country. And uh, Sokol uh, present freedom, strong, um, and so on. And, uh, at, uh, at, the, at the end of the uh, 19th century, Sokol movement uh, uh, was established in uh, Croatia. And uh, the main question is, can we use heritage of sport in tourism for territorial development? Uh, excuse me, next. I don't know, uh, sorry. Um, um, uh, excuse me. Uh, yes, the page down. Uh, we know what is the trend in sports tourism. Uh, sport, recreation and culture are one of the main motives for coming uh, to tourist destination in Croatia. You know the main motive are the sun and the sea. Sun and the sea are connecting with nature and recreation. Statistical data show that growth of share of tourists motivated by sport for uh, 7% in 2014 to 20% in 2017 and 24% in uh, 2019. The same survey showed that tourists are not satisfied uh, with the sport offer in share especially in coastal destination. In this sense, the paper seeks to point out the untaped potential of sport heritage in the tourist offer in Croatia. During the last uh, 20 years, research on sport tourism has increased, you know all of, uh, uh, the, all of you, on the global level. Considering the trends in, in sports tourism, the paper starts from the assumption that in Croatia, sport tourism heritage are insufficiently recognized as a tourist attraction and the, that they are neglected in the tourist offer. Following the global and European trend of, uh, of connecting sport and tourism in Croatia, as well, the untaped potential of uh, connecting sport and tourism, sport in tourism, recreation in tourism, etc., are increasingly pointed out. In scientific uh, articles in Croatia, sport and tourism are analyzed through the entrepreneurship, uh, uh, the effects of sport tourism in destination, development aspect of tourism and sport management in sport and tourism, etc. 
it is now uh, known that tourism and sport have been connected since ancient time in Croatia. The material uh, evidence are, uh, is arena in Pula. Uh, for example, in uh, Roma is Colosseum, etc. Sport uh, and tourism are most often connected through two uh, components of tourist participation, through passive or active involvement of tourists in sport, uh, sports tourism. However, sport tourism is also explored through the potential uh, and impact of sporting events. So, draw uh, attention to the need of research on a nostalgia in sport tourism based on the memory of sporting events. Another authors uh, point out that sport tourism can be linked to heritage in tourism because historical sporting events, uh, for example, like Olympic Games, World Championships, etc., can be a motive for everyone. But such uh, discussion mostly related to the history of professional uh, sports while research uh, on soccer movement as a sporting and cultural heritage uh, and their opportunities in tourism has been neglecting. In doing so, we must not ignore that the fact that soccer movement have contributed part of the sporting and cultural and tourist heritage to the identity and diversity of tourist offer. Influenced by the globalization of sports in Croatia and in the world, there is a noticeable neglect uh, of research on the history of sport, sport heritage, and tourism at the local, regional, national, and international level, which could be used as experience in planning territorial development uh, on different levels. Uh, the paper aims to test whether the Sokol Falcon movement in Croatia is addition to contributing to development of, of sport and uh, national identity also contributed to the integration of sport and tourism on multiple levels. Although the Sokol movement no longer exists, cased to the exist after World War II, Several questions arise. Uh, has the history of the Sokol movement has uh, been recognized as heritage? And it is uh, possible to use history lessons for planning territorial development as well as for checking the activities planned to connect sport and tourism. Following the example of the Czech Republic, the Sokol uh, Falcon movement was founded in Croatia, first in the city of Zagreb in uh, 1874, and later in other Croatian cities. Main goals of the Sokol movement were to promote physical, moral, intellectual development, as well as to uh, spread national uh, consequences among the Slavic people. In scientific research on the Sokol movement, it is mainly associated with history of national identity or politics and sport history, but very little in associated with heritage, tourism, art, painting, photography, architecture, theater, etc., health, etc. The uh, which met uh, used, you can uh, see uh, young uh, boys uh, face, facing, uh, they uh, practice gymnastics, shooting, and so on. And which method? Uh, used historical methods were uh, used to research the history of sport and tourism, identifying the activities of the Sokol movement in uh, Croatia until World War I, describing the activities of the Sokol movement, uh, movement in planning territorial development in Croatia and reviving the historical experience for territorial development planning purposes 
as a mechanism for checking the link between, uh, between sports uh, and tourism. Numerous uh, activities of the Sokol movement in Croatia indicate in uh, served the purpose of linking sport and tourism, as well as the purpose of territorial development, because it was engaged not only in the planning uh, and const uh, constructing of individual uh, gymnasium, but also in organizing mass gymnastic festival called SLETS, all at the local, regional, national and international level, lectures and discussion on the importance of physical exercises, food, uh, hygiene, etc. Organized conferences and exhibition at the local, regional and international level, entertainment, theaters, plays, etc. Publishing books, manual, uh, textbooks, catalogs, poster, postcards, one day or multi-day trips uh, and education on various sport, fencing, gymnastics, etc., as well as the presentation of tourist spas. And uh, now we can see a photo from the beginning of the 20th century in, in Zagreb, mass gymnastic festival called SLETS. Uh, in Zagreb, it was one international uh, mass gymnastic festivals. Uh, many uh, this uh, Sokol association built many sports uh, building for sport uh, exercises in different uh, uh, cities in uh, Croatia. Zagreb, Bielovar, Karlovac, Gospic, uh, Gospic and another uh, uh, cities in uh, Croatia. And this building are now, this day, protected cultural heritage. And for example, I find, found uh, one uh, ground uh, floor for Stadium Sokol uh, Association in uh, Zagreb, Build uh, Sokol Association. Uh, in this Sokol Association, uh, in this time, also include women, uh, women's group, uh, different uh, men and uh, uh, women, also children and so on. And we can see that uh, Sokol movement, uh, Sokol Association, are uh, connected with art because it, this is the cover page of catalog from uh, Mass International been uh, uh, um, uh, uh, sled uh, mass uh, physical uh, festivals from 1996. Uh, uh, and uh, we can uh, conclude that soccer movement as part of sport heritage uh, across the games, across the building, etc. Cultural heritage is part, also is tourist heritage because Sokol Association organized uh, trips uh, uh, and uh, not only in Croatia, but also international trips. And Sokol movement promotes sport for all. And the motto uh, was uh, in a healthy body is a healthy mind uh, uh, spirit. World and European uh, documents indicate uh, the potential of values of heritage also mean sport heritage and the need for the involvement in sustainable development planning. Uh, planning. Heritage is a resource for sustainable development. That is document from uh, European Union. Although the heritage is recognized in Croatian tourism, Sokol movement were left out of the consideration of the potential for sustainable tourism development or sport tourism development. Therefore, to consider the Sokol movement as a tourist potential in the field of sport, culture and tourism at the national, county and uh, local level and education and tourism inventory of Sokol Association are necessary. It should be supported by the necessary data that are needed uh, for a comprehensive view of their potential 
and the more active involvement in the tourism development plans. Maybe some European Union sport project because in Sokol movement uh, were included Poland, Czech, Slovenia, Croatia, Bur Bulgaria, Bosnia Herzegovina, Serbia, and uh, some uh, uh, another land. Just as uh, there are various online database of uh, companies and uh, non-government organization, so there should be an online database of X Sokol Association that could be used equally by all uh, stakeholder, public and private sector, local publication, uh, public population and tourists for the purpose of joint sustainable development planning of specific form of tourism. Given that there is no single database of the list of so-called association in Croatia or in uh, Europe, nor, suf uh, nor sufficient statistics for uh, more specific analysis it is necessary to develop and uh, adopt a tourism inventory model as a statistical information system through which data would be collected, updated, and organized into data sets. To make the tourism inventory process of Sokol Association simple for the entering data and clear and useful uh, when uh, searching for, um, for them, the tourism inventory model should contain local necessary and clearly structure, uh, structured and categorized features in a section based on which a precise, clear and uh, com uh, comparable data can be uh, entitled. Given that Sokol Association in different cities could contribute to local, regional, and the national identity, as well as they could uh, influence through the, the employment and animation of different age of groups, not only for local population, but also uh, uh, of tourists. Qualitative and quantitative research is needed. Uh, undoubtedly, Tourism could be one of the instigators, but not only one for revitalization, this type of sport heritage. So it is first necessary to recognize them as attractions and shape them into tourist products. Uh, research from only one aspect, for example, tourism can lead to their uh, misinterpretation, exclusively commercial and thus, um, uh, the loss of the base meaning, the sport, uh, sports, exercise, sport, game, sport, spirit, and so on. The Sokol movement in Croatia are mostly, although rare, uh, research from the aspect of history. I said that. And the history of Sokol movement is uh, most often maintained by the enthusiasm and voluntarism of individuals at the local level. We can now find in Croatia many, many books about so-called movement, but in cities. Considering uh, the characteristic and trends towards, uh, towards cultural heritage, sport, recreation, and health of the modern tourist market, and the motives of Ario that most often express the need for culture and sport recreation in the destination. So-called movement, if they would uh, adapt to modern needs while respecting traditions, they could enrich the tourist offer. Sokol movement, in addition to contributing to destination recognition, can be developed as a regional brand or local brand. In some cities, sport heritage is visibly includes uh, exclusively through the, the sport uh, uh, this so-called uh, Falcon movement. Uh, segment of sport health can be uh, stimu uh, stimulated through the education of young people, but also through lifelong uh, long learning. Introducing all activities from Sokol Association to people with special need and people who reduce mobility is also important in the process of social inclusion. 
because making all people aware of the potential and the practice in SOCOL association creates the potential for uh, their future. New attraction may be created by using sport heritage for tourism purposes. The complex relationship between sport, culture, lifestyle, education, ecology, uh, ecology uh, modern technology, etc., is a reflection of the local identity that can uh, give a new meaning, identity, and dimension to local community. Even the possibility of connecting sport heritage and tourism, local tourism association together with local population could also contribute the, to informing tourists about the identity of this heritage. Uh, I said that need a tourism inventory uh, of the SOC association uh, are necessary. This is the first uh, journal about uh, Hrvatski Sokol, that means Croatian uh, Falcon. Uh, was from uh, uh, 1870. And uh, we can say that we can use in sports tourism uh, across heritage, lovely past for innovative uh, future. Since Sokol Association contribute to identity and in order to increase their visibility to the local population, they need to be activated by, uh, by involving children and adults. Perhaps the beginning of the third decade of the 21st century, as well as the economic impact of the pandemic on global sport, culture, economy, eco, ecology and uh, society, it is the time to re-examine sport heritage potential in sustainable development planning and implementation at all levels from local to global. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Yasenka, for your great presentation. And now, if there is any question, please. Nobody. I invite colleagues uh, from Poland, Czech, uh, Slavic uh, countries, maybe made for two uh, for two years European project uh, applied on the European uh, for European funds because we have um, a common uh, sport heritage. So, uh, if there is any question. Uh, could you tell me, Yasenka, uh, if uh, a part of these activities uh, could be uh, renew or reactivate uh, like demonstrative activities uh, uh, today? to attract more visitors, mm -hmm. not, not only museum or photos or uh, objects, just, um, uh, uh, just. I, uh, that is my idea. That is my idea that uh, with uh, local community, um, uh, try to put much more this local movement uh, visibility because uh, tourism, can uh, reactivate this kind of history. It is, uh, it is not a main tourist offer that is uh, uh, maybe uh, supported uh, to uh, longer seasonality in tourism uh, uh, promote and so on, because uh, tourists want, uh, tourists are not uh, satisfied with sport offer in Croatia. One part is sport heritage and uh, we can use this part of sport heritage in tourism. I think uh, that this could be possible. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sarina. So, uh... I invite Claudio Meli from Università Milano Bicocca, Italy, uh, 
With the paper, uh, the role of the sport in the relationship between tourists and locals, the case study of the Maldivian guest houses. Please, Claudio. Okay, good, good morning. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I will. Wait. Can you see my presentation? No. Uh, Not now. Okay. Now, can you see my presentation? Yes. Okay. So, uh, good morning. I'm uh, Claudio Melli. I'm a PhD student of uh, the University of Milano Bicocca in Urban Studies. And uh, I'm also a um, staff of the Mare Center that work uh, in the Maldives. And uh, my, my work in general is around the, the sociology of the sports uh, in the Maldives. Uh, in, um, in general, in, in the Colsi brochure, uh, the Maldives are primarily famous for the magnificent beaches or uh, considered the most beautiful on the planet. And the image of the paradise uh, adding the minds of the million of visitors who um, reach this latitude every year with uh, this uh, pure white sand, uh, um, the crystal sea, as you can see, uh, the cluster of the coconut palm. Uh, um, also, the tour operator competed to offer um, the tourist, the, the Robinson Crusoe type experience, uh, like the, the classic honeymoon uh, destination. So we have a, a remote, pristine, and uh, inhabited uh, um, archipelago uh, that can see the, uh, the antithesis of the contemporary urban congestion. Uh, and the manager of this, uh, of this destination shaped the, the characteristic feature like uh, the palms uh, and the crystal sea and so on uh, with the urban planning schemes designed uh, artificially to um, inspire happiness. So the Maldivian icon like the, uh, give uh, the sense of uh, no shoes, no news, relaxation, um, have a very high standard of uh, artificial uh, building. Although uh, much of tourism uh, on the Maldives uh, is based on the, the three S, sun, sea, and sand, uh, there is no shortage of the, the luxury amenities. Uh, um, without the experience, we do not so captivating. So we have the, co the coexistence with the, the naturally 3S uh, and the Aged service. Uh, so it's like uh, the, the real opulence is not uh, drinking the champagne, but drinking the champagne where you can even find uh, the potable water. Uh, so, and here is uh, like described in uh, in the Fabian paper, like the, uh, the allochronism. Uh, so um, they include tourism in which uh, um, we are in a context with an absolute different from the tourist place of origin and also the illusion to be uh, in a pre primitive time. And that's the allochronism. So um, in the Republic of the Maldives, we are in an archipelago with uh, um, 1,192 islands uh, stretching in the Indian Ocean uh, along a double chain uh, that extends for several kilometers. Yeah. Um, also, also the name that is the uh, Veiraji Jumboria uh, reflect uh, this um, this principle because it means in fact the kingdom of the islands and. Uh, the, the, the territory with the 97% of the water reflect this, uh, <laughs> this uh, distinction. Uh, the capital city is Male with uh, more than 100,000 um, people, uh, all concentrated in uh, one island that is uh, almost uh, half of the entire population is uh, on the one island with uh, uh, one of the highest population density in the world. When the light is totally frenetic uh, against the uh, 
the, 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 the relaxed rhythm on the on the periphery uh, islands. Um, the religion, uh, the only allowed religion is the Sunni Islam, which uh, the integral part of the identity. And uh, comparing to the to the 70s, uh, uh, the topic has become more controversial in the last decades. Uh, because it's possible to notice the effect of intensive uh, Islamization. Uh, to understand that the Maldivian, oh, sorry, the Maldivian contemporary context is ex essential to understand that the, the, the contemporary that is very young, that is part of the, the tourism industry in which the Maldives are hyper, in, hyper dependent on the tourism because on um, on the islands that we can see, uh, almost 200 uh, are currently inhabited by the, the locals and 150 are uh, the destination of a resort. So it is like a half resort, half uh, uh, for the population. Um, nowadays, uh, the resort become the most significant activities in the Maldives and the impact is uh, uh, incalculable. Like we are talking about uh, one half a billion million of tourists uh, for a year. That is a lot more uh, that inhabitant. Um, the tourist change in the in the 70s with uh, the Corben, the tourism pioneer that you can see on the left. Um, that is a, a writer that uh, got living there. And when he came back, he wrote this book, uh, 200's uh, Happy Highlands. Um, in, in the 70s, the, the government have a passive approach toward the growing tourism industry because, uh, and also in particular, because uh, one of the, be, the best activities that's in the, in, at the start, uh, widespread is uh, the, the sport tourism linked to the spare fishing that uh, today is no more allowed, as you can see of George Corbin, that is one of the pioneer also of the spread fishing. Um, so um, there is, a, as, as I said, in, uh, in the end, uh, there is no law that uh, coordinates uh, the tourism. The first one uh, is uh, the first tourist master plan in the 83. And uh, uh, we have a, a solution for uh, contain um, the explosion that the tourism skyrocketed uh, after the publication of the book uh, of Corbin. Uh, the first tourism master plan uh, of Maum Abdul Gayoum, that is the president uh, with uh, 30 years of presidency, uh, make a very big uh, uh, changes, uh, prohibiting the guest house in all the area of the archipelagos, uh, except for the Male, the city that we didn't see before. And uh, also give a couple of uh, primarily law of the obligation of the resort to the managed west uh, and also the fiscal aspect. Um, so but the main solution found uh, to, to the big problem that is to match uh, uh, this uh, increasingly number of tourists uh, and uh, the community that uh, uh, are not uh, uh, common with the, these Western people arrived in, in an Islam community is uh, found by the solution called One Island, One Resort. Uh, in this model, establish uh, the possible to build a single resort only on some of the inhabited Maldivian island covering the entire surface. Uh, and there is the possibility to accept uh, the Sharia law and in addiction, the construction on the local islands is forbidden. So uh, basically separate uh, two separate world. At one, we have the local population who can't go to the resort. On the other end, we read the guests who cannot leave the resort, uh, like in a golden prize zone. Um, so uh, with uh, this model, all around the, um, the 70s to the 90s, uh, we have a lot of limits, like uh, uh, they have to import uh, basically all the people that have to work uh, in the resort, uh, causing a very huge problem of overpopulation. 
also uh, the desire to the to the tourists that go there for uh, sport tourism uh, in particular water sports uh, um, but they want to escape from this environmental bubble in particular during the 90s and uh, this model produced uh, a very huge social inequalities to the local island and uh, the tourism manager uh, so in the 2007 we have a um, very uh, changing law with the tourist master plan that uh, again allow the permission of the guest house in uh, all the archipelago uh, in which we have a very important role uh, of the sport facility the sport facilities on the guest house um, with the with the with the, the master plan we have so this uh, totally bored that is very, very young because it's just uh, 15 years, but a lot uh, is uh, very, very recent, like one year or two years. Uh, and we have these guest house that are locally owned with um, the Fisherman Island and allow the tourists to meet uh, the local resident that is no more accepted in the, in the resort. Uh, but for example, we have uh, um, very different to, to a, a holiday in the resort, in particular for the Sharia rule. And uh, this matching with the tourism is uh, complicated with this uh, Islamization that is uh, increased. So uh, the interaction with the locals in the Maldives using a global to local perspective, uh, it's possible to notice the relationship between uh, host and guest with these two boundaries. There is the segregation in the resort and the growing controlled interaction in the guest house. Uh, so we can say, despite uh, certain prejudice, uh, the sport activities is not merely uh, recreational because they play a central role in the production on culture. That's in general, but in particular in the Maldives. Uh, because they are very, very uh, politically uh, linked to the power relation, the integration and the transmission of the culture, in particular the Maldivian culture, and the representation of identity. We remember we are in archipelago, like the, the Ben Anderson uh, imagined community is a very strong uh, uh, topic in the Maldives, but also in particular the market and the communication. Um, and also again, the, um, I'm sorry, um, the, the totally different between uh, the, um, the, the resort plan with the impact of the facility on the guest house uh, is not studied yet. Uh, in the resort is totally planned from, uh, from the above. In, uh, in the guest house is not. So for example, they build, uh, uh, a football pitch, uh, uh, but it's not uh, from the governor, so it's um, totally unplanned. Uh, so on this uh, on this base, uh, after a preliminary investigation about my fieldwork, uh, that is uh, uh, five years uh, um, fieldwork uh, in the Maldives, uh, I set up an empirical study involving the collection of uh, data about uh, only the land basis sport because uh, uh, the water sport in general uh, they don't see a lot of interaction so only the land based tourism on the guest house not in the resort um, so since uh, there is absolutely no literature uh, i have collected the data about 10 islands the major with a minimum of, of uh, 200 bets uh, in order to have a better test of uh, efficiency uh, in particular, I put also a temporary filter with uh, the last five years, excluding uh, um, the COVID, uh, the COVID year that is uh, totally uh, statistical uh, uh, different. And finally, uh, I collected the percentage of the interaction. Um, wait, uh, be, sorry, sorry. As as you can see. For example, about with the, the Google Maps or Mondo Maldive, Mondo Maldive is the reference site uh, um, of this topic. And uh, as you can see, in a one island, how far and how big can be um, a playground. In general, in the Maldivian island, 
the biggest uh, um, landmark in every island is uh, the football pitch or a sporting activity. As you can see, for example, here we have a clear example of interaction between uh, Muslim and non-Muslim. Here we have a, a very huge uh, football pitch. This is very new. Uh, so after um, in the absence of the, the, the direct sources, uh, I collected the, the percentage of the interaction between the tourism and, uh, and the sports. Uh, and with the visual material, like the one that I already show about all the islands that I select and uh, all the um, industry database, for example, Booking and Agoda are the biggest for the market uh, uh, on the on the Maldives, like European and uh, Asian, but also like uh, Expedia, TripAdvisor, Google Review. We check all the situation, and from this research, it was possible to note uh, that uh, the land-based, first of all, the land-based sports area cover large area of lands, and then with the filter, looking for sports, ground, football activity, volley. Um, brought up a very uh, low numbers of cross-cultural encounter in the promotion of the guest house. Uh, I have summarized this in, uh, in a table. Um, so as you can see on the left, we have the 10 big islands with the, the bed. As you can see, there is a, for the only land-based, a very, very low uh, promotion on the site of the guest house, and also a very, very low um, feedback about the tourist um, on, on that. So we are all around 100%, more or less. Um, but for example, in the, in the few comments, as you can see, there is, uh, regarding sport, uh, there is a lot of a notable mention about daily activity with uh, a huge window of time. Um, also, for example, uh, the, the, in, uh, in all my field work, uh, in my system of, uh, of interview and uh, in, the, um, in the analysis that I will um, uh, go ahead with this, uh, the sports, uh, uh, the international language of the sports uh, enable an absolutely profitable exchange uh, between the, the tourists and the locals. Uh, uh, in particular on the guest house islands. So the sports is uh, when uh, uh, after uh, a couple of days with the totally relaxed, uh, I need to break uh, this routine and the only possibility is uh, to go and the sport pitch uh, and also is divided by uh, male activity and female activity in general. And uh, so the, the Maldivian islands in general reply to a, a, a non place with uh, an, uh, the definition of uh, hyper place. Um, so is a, a place with a very strong uh, identity with a very strong uh, uh, surface uh, on the island and give a very strong uh, interaction between local and tourism. Uh, for conclude, uh, the Maldives, so as we said, uh, are imaginated as an idyllic tourism destination represented by the resort, but also, as we can see, the growing uh, guest house. The water sport dominated the marketing promotion, and, but also, for example, the land-based sports are an important mechanism for the local development. As you can see also, for example, uh, on the land reclamation, uh, a lot of islands uh, now, and also for the previously government, uh, they are building uh, artificially part of islands uh, to build, uh, uh, for example, a stadium, as you we can see for the case of uh, Villa Fushi. Uh, as we can see in opposition on the guest house island, the development is unplanned, and we are in a situation of a significant uh, lack of uh, literature scientific. And uh, with this boat tourism, so uh, resort and guest house, uh, in the last, in the latest Maldivian visitor survey, the sport was not among the top eight attraction of the Maldivian tourism, as we can see also in the table. 
uh, but all these uh, two data appear in a very strong uh, opposition with the real situation uh, in which uh, both of the sports ground and the time spent uh, playing uh, on them are anything but in uh, insignificant. So it is a lot of time and a lot of building uh, to the sport, but the sport is not communicated. So in the Maldives, um, the, the, the sport, uh, as elsewhere, uh, is an aggregator of ideologies and with a strong identity profile uh, in the religion, also for the Islamic religion. Uh, so playing football in the guest house uh, in general is an opportunity for dialogue and uh, hybridization that bring uh, uh, different philosophies, way of uh, understanding the religion, because let's think about uh, uh, the tourism that come uh, uh, in the in the Maldives island and in general they don't know they are um, a Islamic country so can be a, a place in which uh, there is a dialogue um, and in uh, with this paper is uh, just a, a positional paper in which in my future study I will carry on uh, the more detailed analysis of that using uh, um, a qualitative and graphic research uh, and bring me maybe um, new interpretation and new tools uh, and maybe it's possible to study in depth uh, the reason why this uh, disconnection between uh, the land-based sports and the tourist marketing um, and also uh, without forgetting the the, the local parts uh, in which we have uh, to collect uh, all the data for try to respond to this uh, uh, lack of uh, um, advertisement to the sports tourism. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. And now the question, please. Hello, everybody. Can I ask a question? Please, Olivier. Claudio, thank you very much for your presentation. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I live next to Maldivian in Reunion Island in Indian Ocean. Uh, I have two, two questions. The first, um, uh, can you explain more, more developed methodological uh, uh, approach for study uh, the guest house Maldivian. And the second question, uh, uh, have you evaluated the, the economical uh, impact, the economical uh, relation between the local population and the tourism in this uh, uh, archipelago? Thank you for both the question. Uh, for the first one, uh, is uh, we have a first phase that is uh, um, a pretty qualitative uh, research. And uh, on the second phase uh, is a very structured uh, quantitative research uh, in a sociological uh, way to collect uh, all the data. That's why, because uh, we are in a situation in which uh, we uh, on the surface, uh, we didn't find data, but uh, as you can see, and that's the topic that I will uh, uh, go depth, uh, is not so uh, lack of data. There is data, but it's not in the surface. Uh, on the second end, uh, the, the second question um, is about the, um, the, the, the link uh, on the economy and the local island. That's a particularly interesting question because uh, if, if you see in the, more than the 80% of the income that come from the tourism uh, are not uh, um, distributed by the population. So it's like uh, a few, I, I talking about um, less than 50 people uh, have uh, all the 90, 95% of the total uh, income of the tourism. So we are uh, um, a very huge money in a very few people. So this uh, increasing uh, market of the guest house uh, are um, uh, owned by the local people. So this uh, trend is starting to, to change with the guest house uh, market because now 
more and more and more uh, also by the agency that's selling the, the myth of uh, the, the, the true Maldives uh, that is absolutely a myth. Uh, can help uh, because the tourism now uh, eat uh, on the local house, uh, on the local bar and using the water, uh, or, uh, the water activities uh, also on the local island, not only in the resort island. So this system of the guest house uh, is uh, helping a lot, uh, um, but is not uh, all the light, uh, uh, this process. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Another question, please. Uh, if not, it's me that uh, I have some questions. Uh, did you use a, a software for the qualitative analysis or you, you work classic? Because you have a lot of data from many islands, qualitative data, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. We work in, uh, in both. Uh, for uh, the, the main... Uh, we don't use uh, the um, a, a software because in general for we, we also work on the on the feedback of the people uh, so also on uh, on the forum or uh, for the interview or similar so is um, looking with with the software not of the reply with the, the right data so uh, there is split in uh, in two way with the on, on the first one is absolutely with the software that collect uh, all the data on the uh, on the islands uh, but is uh, followed by a qualitative uh, a qualitative data uh, collect to 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 match both of this uh, of this table thank you and uh... Another question, if uh, on the islands are proposed uh, only classical sports activities or maybe traditional sports activities? Yeah, uh, we have in general uh, two blocks. Uh, the, the first one is uh, football. Uh, that is a, a very... Uh, generically indicated for the, the male because uh, also the Maldivian uh, the Maldivian football is uh, the very identifying sport uh, because as we can see for example the, the football is the only sports uh, that go uh, abroad for the for the qualification of the of the of the championship uh, but also as you correctly notice uh, we have uh, a traditional sport uh, that, for example, we have uh, on the female part, uh, we have absolutely uh, a data around the volleyball that is increasing a lot in the last two years, also for building the pitch. And on the second way, uh, there is uh, um, a very traditional sport that is called Bashi, that is played in general only by uh, on, on the female, on the... Um, on the volleyball pitch, that is a traditional game with the with, with the ball with the with the rackets. That is a, a very traditional um, Maldivian sports. Thank you very much. Other questions, please. And now we have the last presentation of this session. I invite uh, Umberto Di Maggio. Uh, Lumsa University and uh, Fabio Massimo Loverde from University of Palermo to present Pilgrim Sportive or Bot Religious Roots as Post COVID Tourist Critical Consumption, a Sicilian case study. Please. Good morning. Start. Thank you, Sorina. Can I share my our presentation? Yes, please. Just a moment, Umberto. Uh, uh, sorry, I will introduce just um, for a um, precisation. Well, uh, because of my uh, 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 little uh, uh, problem, that is that uh, if I start to speak, uh, I, I can <laughs> I can stop. So <laughs> I risk to borrow all the time. <laughs> That's how I will for us. So I prefer that speaks uh, only Umberto. So. 
I forgot to let Umberto speak down. Okay, thanks a lot. I but Thank I stay here for the questions, of course. Thank you, Fabio. Thank you, Sarina. Thank you all. So uh, we have two sociologists, two Sicilian sociologists. I come from uh, Lumsa University, a uh, private uh, university here in uh, Palermo. And uh, Fabio comes from uh, the University of Palermo. Uh, we are both uh, in, um, involved in the, the studies concerning in the sociology of consumption, uh, sociology of tourism. So we will present uh, our perspective uh, concerning uh, the pilgrimage, the, the, the phenomenon of uh, the during the, the, the um, religious tourism. Um, and the, we, we will try to join the sportive tourism and the spiritual tourism. We will present uh, the first results of uh, our research uh, concerning two case studies here in Sicily, two religious routes, two religious paths. So, the phenomenon of uh, the religious tourism. As uh, you know, pilgrimage is considered the, the first form of uh, tourist mobility. All the studies, uh, sociological, anthropological, uh, consider the pilgrimage from uh, several point of view. From uh, uh, Alberto, processes. We can see we can see the slides. We are not able to see the slides, so I'm try sorry. to change sorry. the. Okay. Now, you see. Sorry. Not I not me. No. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I try to share again. Just two seconds. Okay. Okay. And now? Okay. okay. No. Yes. Okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I said that uh, pilgrimage is the first form of a tourist uh, mobility. You know, uh, sociological anthropological studies consider the, the pilgrimage from several point of view: ritual processes, uh, the question of uh, authenticity, the sacred uh, in the in the travel, uh, the visitor experience. So. It's very difficult to, to, to take one of these of, of this point, but we present two case studies. We can say that this is one case study, but we, we, we work with two case studies. Magna Via Francigena, you see, it's a, a route that join Palermo and Agrigento, two provinces uh, in the west side of Sicily, and Itinerarium Rosalie here in, in Palermo. That uh, are uh, religious route in, uh, that we consider in the wall of the South Italy. This kind of religious path for us is uh, very interesting because uh, we think that uh, are an opportunity for uh, sustainable development for all the Sicily, for all the south of Italy. And uh, we think that uh, are important because uh, here in this place, in these uh, regions, in the south of Italy, we suffer two kind of phenomena regarding uh, the tourists. The charm of dark tourism, there are a lot of people that uh, want to see in Corleone, you know Corleone, or in other places where uh, um, was born uh, the mafiosis, and uh, ask to the local community, I want to see the place where was born Totorina, the boss. I want to see the place where uh, the boss is uh, hit. I want to see the, no. We think that uh, this kind of tourist, this kind of tourism could 
to give to this place, this region, another image. We suffered another stereotype, the three S, sun, sea, and sand. So we think that uh, religious tourism is, uh, is very, very interesting for our, our per perspective. Our hypothesis, we consider the modern pilgrimage a practice non-competitive, a kind of exploratory and a non-performative and a reflective kind of sport tourism. So it's a kind of tourism, but not performative, not uh, competitive. Because we think that uh, the, all the phenomena we can consider in the, uh, in the sense of uh, the research of well-being the research of uh, the well-being. And uh, we put aside that uh, the pilgrimage is an experience with have also a critical significance. Our method. In May, we interviewed two privileged witnesses that are involved for uh, years in the planning and managing tourist pilgrimage itineraries in southern Italy. We interviewed the people that manage the path, not the tourists. The, the people that are involved in the organized, the, the, this kind of tourism. And we related this information with the secondary quantitative data that uh, we find in uh, the report named Italia Paese dei Cammini, published by Terre di Mezzo. So, mixed, uh, mixed method with qualitative data and quantitative data could uh, give us uh, these results. The age, the pilgrims, you're in Sicily, you're in Sicily are uh, between 13 and 17 years old. There are peaks in the 15 and 17 years old. There are also young people, but are just members of the scout group, youth, youth association, but the, 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 the most relevant numbers are age people. 70% are men, and 40 are women. Education, a very high level of education and uh, people that have a lot of time, time to, <laughs> to, to go in the, in the route, so spend a lot of day in, uh, in the route, in the religious route. Three questions. Three questions that are our first consideration regarding this phenomenon. The pilgrim is not exclusively an observant or a believing person. So it's not correct to consider the pilgrimage as a religious, religious in the, in the way of uh, traditional way. So maybe it's uh, correct to consider the religious route as a spiritual route. Maybe spiritual is correct. The spiritual or religious reasons, in fact, are just 30%. There are a lot of motivation, the knowledge of territory, being nature, psychological, uh, psycho-physical uh, well-being, uh, hiking, uh, cultural interest, a uh, new experience. So when we talk about uh, religious, uh, maybe it's not correct to talk about spiritual motivations. Another question. It's, this question is focused to the the aim of this Congress. Is the pilgrim a sportsman? Our respondents refusing to considering pilgrimage tourism 
as a form of competitive sports. They think that pilgrims are not athletes, but we have to consider the pilgrimage a form of reject of the spirit of competition. It's a practice of critical sport consumption. And we talk about sport consumption, explain this concept with psycho, physical, and spiritual well being. The last questions for us concerning the critical consumer. My colleague Fabio La Verde talked about uh, the apolicized consumption and you know the icasided consumption. We propose another typology regarding this kind of uh, consumption, the tourist consumption. We call it <laughs> Linuxided consumption because uh, in this category, we include the pilgrim, this kind of tourist that uh, follow the principles of uh, the new Linux philosophy that are simplicity, thirsty, e economy, and community spirit. So for us, this kind of tourist is a form of critical consumption. The pilgrims, maybe, it's a critical consumer that we consider in the, this, this uh, slot, in, in this typology of uh, Linux sided consumption. At last, our conclusion. Pilgrimage tourism in the post COVID society. We spent a lot of, uh, of months undergoing the COVID uh, restriction. And uh, in, the, in, this, uh, in this week, uh, we, we hear the revenge tourism, the revenge uh, consumption. There are a lot of people that spent money. Uh, it's very interesting, the revenge tourism. So a lot of people talk about the, that the traditional mass tourism destination will be repopulated. In the other hand, from our perspective, the natural resources and the outdoor, uh, outdoor activities, uh, maybe, are critical ingredients in the tourism recovery for a sustainable future. So it's very interesting for us to point attention in the religious uh, tourism, in the green tourism. Because, because of, uh, why? Because uh, when we talk about uh, religion tourism, natural tourism, we talk about uh, sustainability, a destination close to home, uh, short-term uh, vacations. So maybe in this scenario, future uh, tourist uh, pilgrimage activities uh, seems to play a, a leading role. That's all. Uh, me and uh, my colleague uh, Fabio Verde are able to respond to your question. Grazie. Thanks a lot. Fabio, if you want. Thank you very much for the presentation. Nothing to add. <laughs> <It's> okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. And uh, now the questions for this research paper. Nobody. So it's me with a question. Um, if, if you have data, um, you said they are not athletes, but uh, uh, in average, how many hours a day they work or how many kilometers? Maybe you know. Oh, yeah, good question. Good Fabio. question. A lot there, of, a lot of many, time. many, yes. You can you can choose in this kind of uh, uh, tour. Uh, you can choose the um, the the type of uh, route 
so you can decide to do 10 kilometers or 15 kilometers if you want or two or three kilometers because there are many stop uh, station uh, that you can use and they are uh, uh, cited in uh, in the, in the little countries for a little town for example or uh, in the route in the same route so you can decide uh, as in the other uh, routes uh, as um, more famous routes uh, for example uh, uh, you know fatima and so on and the others uh, Santiago, uh, Santiago de Compostela. Santiago, yes, in the same. So you can decide because these are, for example, families with uh, mm, uh, not with kids, but with uh, uh, mm, adolescents or uh, uh, young mm, children. Uh, so uh, they decide to go and to stop uh, about the needs that in the moment uh, they leave or for example they are uh, in in other cases they are uh, um, uh, aging uh, for example uh, there are many many uh, retired that do this uh, this uh, route this kind of route Retired, they decide because they love nature, they love uh, the place, the life, the, they love the, uh, I, I don't know, uh, uh, the history of the route, the history of the uh, 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 mythical, uh, religious, and magical uh, route. But uh, um, all of these people, is very very uh, they point uh, on the uh, nature on the health uh, on the well-being uh, for one of the topics of their life of their life so sorry yes sorry uh, so uh, they can choose yes many many kinds of uh, so for many kinds of uh, can decide to do more or less uh, kilometers. Thank you very much, Fabio. Another question? Uh, Serena? Yes, please. Okay. Um, studying the relationship between um, religious uh, tourism and sports tourism is interesting that considering that uh, the religious uh, tourism is an important in Italy as well uh, as in the European countries uh, such as uh, France, Spain uh, and other. Perhaps the most uh, significant aspect uh, is the relationship uh, between uh, uh, spiritualism and uh, contact uh, with nature in yeah. the travel experience. Yeah. Have you evaluated uh, this uh, aspect in uh, your research? And uh, another, another, ask, another question. Uh, from the, po the point of view of sport, tourism, it uh, could uh, instead be useful to enhance the promotion of the territory in the narration, narration of the, this experience. What do you think? Umberto. Yes, uh, our interview uh, said also that um, in uh, this moment, uh, is most important to talk about spirit of motivation because uh, we we can uh, define uh, uh, the, the religious motivation there are a lot of people that uh, are not catholic yeah. that uh, travel not devotee yeah, yeah. no devotee uh, yeah. there are a lot of people that uh, find in the root their uh, spiritual motivation yeah there are a lot of people that uh, lost <laughs> their uh, motivation. So uh, it's very difficult uh, 
uh, but this kind of difficulty is a very interesting topic regarding uh, the topic uh, mm -hmm. religion in this era, no? Um, a lot of people uh, that travel, that uh, walk in the, in the route, uh, find a, a, a lot and find and lost a lot. A lot uh, of uh, uh, foreign, foreign uh, tourists, less Sicilians in this moment, because uh, uh, Sicilians uh, in this moment uh, loves to go abroad. But uh, it's very interesting phenomenon because he's joined to mm -hmm. sport, to well-being, and to to live safety, healthy. When we talk about COVID, no, uh, we we our uh, uh, our thing is uh, safety. And if we go in the nature, and the second question, sorry, I, I forgot the second question. Um, this, uh, this, this um, experience the spirituality. like uh, a promotion uh, to, oh, yeah. Yeah. To, yeah. to tourism. Yeah, yeah. Can, yes. My family. Can, I, can I speak? Yes. yes. Yes, it's really interesting because uh, the, mm, um, the the question of the development of the territory, you know, uh, in the uh, southern Italy is really important. So uh, this is a way in which uh, another kind of tourism, not mass tourism, but uh, uh, quality tourism or tourism of quality uh, is uh, spreading out uh, in, in, in the south and in Sicily in particular. So uh, it can be, uh, it, it could be an interesting uh, way uh, for development, for, yes, for the economy and, and so on. But uh, the problem is that uh, the infrastructure for the development uh, is not so easy uh, to... Uh, the, the problem is that the, the tourism is, is not... The infrastructure for tourism is not uh, uh, cheap, absolutely. <laughs> So um, to to construct, for example, this route, uh, many many uh, commons and uh, provinces and uh, the region, the government governmental uh, uh, institutions have to spend many 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 uh, uh, money for. Uh, um, uh, to maintain uh, the old, the ancient route, uh, and this needs uh, mm, that uh, the uh, this kind of tourism became just a little bit uh, more massificated. Not so much, but just a little bit, because the balance, the balance. Uh, is really really important. Uh, so I think that it could be. Uh, we think that it could be a really interesting way, but um, we need the um, a middle term plane, a long term plane, uh, to develop the perfect idea, uh, the perfect vision for the future. Yes, it's clear. Okay. Thanks. Thanks a lot for your attention. And see you in Sicily. <laughs> yeah, we of hope. course. <laughs> we hope. So another question or we finish here? Thank you very much for all the int interesting presentations. And uh, uh, here we finish the session. If Barbara have something to, to say for the schedule later? Yes, see, see you at two o'clock in uh, directly in room one or uh, in room uh, two. Okay, good lunch. Thank good lunch. you. Thanks. Thank you.